Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to explain what nuclear energy is used for. Now, nuclear energy has been with us since the middle of the 20th century. Uh, in fact, since the Second World War. And at that time, there was accelerated progress made on, the, on looking particularly at bombs and at atomic bombs, hydrogen bombs too, although hydrogen bombs didn't appear until afterwards. And at the same time, they looked at atomic reactors, and much of the use today is more peaceful. It is in nuclear reactors where the purpose is to generate electricity. Now, a nuclear reactor is nothing but a big boiler. It produces hot water and steam, steam at a very high temperature and high pressure, drives generators which produce electricity. The advantage is that you can use conventional forms of uh, power production, uh, of heat production, should I say, to generate the same electricity. So it's fairly flexible. Nuclear reactors, the materials are dangerous, but they're small in quantity, and nuclear reactors therefore can be built where it is fairly remote, and they're well away from the centres of population. The use in nuclear weapons is something over which there is a lot of uh, conflict, but basically uh, there are a dozen nations now that have nuclear weapon stocks, and though that is a use, but not a major use now of, of nuclear energy. There are ships which are nuclear-powered, there were actually nuclear-powered um, uh, civilian ships, but uh, in fact they've disappeared. And the only ships now are the large American aircraft carriers, several of them, and, and lots of nuclear submarines, uh, mainly British, Russian and American. A last and very important use is in medicine. Now, in diagnosis, we can use radioactive elements, for example radioactive iodine, to look at the body by giving somebody uh, an injection of this radioactive isotope and then scanning the body to see where it goes. Radioactive iodine, iodine will be sent to the thyroid and it will give you an outline of the thyroid looking at the radiation that's produced. This is an extremely useful diagno uh, diagnostic tool and without our nuclear knowledge, we would not have this. In addition, there is treatment using things like radium needles. Radium needles are pieces of metal. Radium is a metal. And at the end of the uh, steel uh, spike, there is a small piece of radium. And that can be inserted into a tumour and will bombard the tumour at very close range with a very high dose of radiation. The advantage of this is it is very specific. The radium needles are placed at different angles into the tumour and they destroy the centre of the tumour. This then gives the body control over the whole situation and can help it to get rid of that tumour. So those are basically the ways in which nuclear energy is used. Luckily nowadays, much more for peaceful purposes than in the past.